Welcome back guys, JDog here from Seacoast and today we're going to be going over how to add bounties to your server. So the next time you see somebody sneaking into your base and trying to steal your stuff without your knowledge, you know exactly what to do. With this plugin you can simply type bounties, find the player that you want to set a bounty on, set the bounty amount and confirm, it's that easy. Not only that, but multiple players can set bounties on different players. Sound fun? Sure does to me. Well, let's get into the tutorial. So we're going to need four things for this to work. First of all, it's going to be a Minecraft server. If you haven't got one yet, head on over to seekerhost.co. You're going to grab yourself a server, play Java, Bedrock, Modded, or whatever else you want to play. Then we're going to need Vault. Vault is required for bounties to work along with an economy plugin. And of course, I'll leave the link in the description below. Next up, we're going to need Lucky Bounties, the actual plugin itself. As you can see here, it does require Vault and also an economy plugin. Last but not least, we're going to use Essentials for the currency because it adds an automatic currency to your server as soon as you download it. So go ahead, click download on all of these and just have them ready on either your download list or another folder. For Essentials, you only need the actual core Essentials as well if you are using this for your currency. As you can see, we have Lucky Bounties, we have Vault and we have Essentials for the currency. Next up, log on to our server. I'm going to be using the latest one so it does work with 1.19. So I'm going to be using 1.19.2 and we're just going to go ahead and stop our server. Now to upload these I'm actually going to be using the FileZilla because FTP file access with Multicraft caps out at 2 megabytes and Essential X is almost 3 megabytes just in itself. Another thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to move these over to my desktop to a nice empty folder to use for FileZilla because it's much easier to find so I'm just going to cut these from here. I'm going to come to my desktop and I'm just going to paste them here just for ease of use. Next up with our server stopped and the plugins in the right area, we're going to go down and open FileZilla. If you're not sure how to connect or use FileZilla, it's a free program, I have the link in the description on how to download. We also have a tutorial on how to use this. And to log in, you have to put in the host username, your Multicraft password and your FTP port. All these can be found by going to files and then FTP file access, all the information will be there. Once you're logged into your server, you're going to see all your server files on the right hand side and we want to go into plugins. On the left hand side, you're going to see your PC and I've selected my desktop as the folder so you can see the three plugins that we have already downloaded right here, which is Vault, Lucky Bounties and Essential X. So select the plugins either one by one or highlight all the three plugins and then drag them over to the right hand side to your server. This should only take a few seconds. There we go. And once you got the bing, the little message, you're done. And another thing to add is once it does start, you might need to reload the Lucky Bounties. The reason for this is because Vault and the Economy starts after Lucky Bounties. After you can see here, this is loaded first. After that comes Vault, then the Economy plugin, which might mean that it's not loaded up. With that all done, we can actually load up into Minecraft now and just check it's all there. So now that we logged onto the server, we can do a Lucky Bounties. And I would suggest doing this just to reload it because of the Economy situation. And then just do a Reload. Press Enter and it's just going to reload the plugin. Now we can simply do forward slash bounties and this is super easy, you just do bounties and it comes up with a GUI showing you the players that are online right now. Obviously we got ourselves right here and then we've got the other player keyboard master. Click on keyboard master's head and the admin will get one extra thing which is clear bounties here so you can clear your bounties manually if you're OP. If you're not OP you're simply going to see the player's name and the set bounty. Click on set bounty and you can simply set the bounty, confirm or cancel. Once you've done that, as you can see with the message there, set bounty of two diamonds on keyboard master. It's really that easy. This is also why it will work just with Vault because the economy doesn't really seem to come into it unless there's something that I haven't understood with it yet. But it's a super easy way of getting revenge back on players. So thanks for watching guys. For any more videos like this, make sure to check out the rest of our YouTube. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll catch you next time. Bye bye.